Hey there! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, convert your React.js app into an Android app using Ionic uh, Capacitor. So um, it's basically a library that trans you know just alters your code into React uh, native code. So what you first thing you need is you need to install these uh, dependencies here. So you need um, these ones you definitely need. Um, Capacitor Core, Capacitor CLI, Capacitor Android. Again, all this will be in the description. You just look at the description, and it should all be there. And this one here is an additional one that I recommend you get. It's a Capacitor File System, so it'll be able to save onto your phone. Because if you've been, I've been struggling on trying to save files onto my phone, and it wouldn't let me. So I finally was able to get it. I'm able to save onto Documents. I'll show you in a sec. You may need this. Also, when you uh, start it. Um, you had to type in um, cap in X, and so when you building your when you're building your React app, you you pop in this uh, command here, add Android. It'll make an Android folder into your root into your root directory or into your, I think your public directory or your root your root directory, and I guess this is a uh, you also need to do some permissions, but I'll do it right here just just to show show you. So the very first thing you need to do, well actually you got to make these files here, um, and this has to be made in your root directory. Here, so let me just take a look at my root directory, and I have it right here. So again, it's just um, you know, just JSON file config, and you just you know give it a couple names, and you need also one here. So just copy and paste, uh, you know, whatever you see here. Just change what you need to change, and that's about it. So you need this in your root directory. That's basically uh, you know, the folder where your where your your um your package JSON is at there. So you make those files, right? You uh, you have to build your app first. So if you look uh, right now, if you look here, I don't. Even, it's not even built. So I'm gonna build my apps. I'm gonna run npm. Maybe just make it a little bigger so you guys can see. Oops. npm, npm run build. So now it's gonna build my app. Give it a couple seconds. It will make a folder. Okay, done and done. Maybe I made this a little bit too big. Okay, so if you look at my files here, I have a build folder now. And uh, you can run this npx cap init if you want. So just copy, paste this, copy here, paste it. That's a little too big. There we go. Just paste it here. Oops, did I make a mistake? There we go, cap and it. Ask you a couple of questions, name. This you hit yes for everything. And then once that's done, you want to make your uh Android folder. So, so sometimes this might screw up. If it does screw up, you would have to if you, if it does screw up, erase all your public notes. So delete this and then type in npm install. And that's it. And it'll reinstall all your modules based on your 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 package JSON. So re, it will reinstall everything. If 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 you're having problems, okay. So let's make our uh, Android folder. So let's copy and paste this. Control V. Oops, that's not it. Oh wait, undo that. It's Control S to save. Control copy. And it should build. Everything is built, and now you have your uh, Android folder. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to download uh, download Android, the latest version of Android Studio, and uh, that's where you're gonna be able to run things. But before that, uh, I want I want you. We'll talk about icons as well, um, or maybe we'll do that a little bit later. So over so your Android is built. Right, your Android folder is built, and so you would have to go into the latest version of and Android Studio. Takes a little while for it to load up. Now I'll just pause it. Okay, this is what screws me up sometimes. Sometimes I have to hit on the upgrade, and it says begin upgrade. And if you doesn't, if it, if you don't do this, then it it won't build. And right now it's not letting me because oh yeah so you have to let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see 
there you, you can't see the top end okay so you would have you see this run select so i can't run any upgrades because i haven't selected the android it says here i'm selecting the android folder but I, but it's not so you go up here there says file you click on file you look for open here's open click on open and then you go to your react app here's my this react and his tracker and here's the android folder click on the android folder and hit OK. And once that is done, okay, now it's now it's, it's working. I had to click somewhere else and then click back here. So you want to run these steps. It says here over here when you do the upgrade, because if you don't do this upgrade, it won't work. So I'm just gonna run these steps, and it's gonna run everything, and then I'm able to build. Okay, so the upgrade was completed. So that's this. So this has to be done. Uh, so you can now close that so you don't need any more upgrades and then what you want to do here is you want to go down to Build like you can run now you can run the app and see it like working on the like your virtual window But I'm just gonna build so to go down to where it says build bundle APK and Pick the first option which is build APK um, Yeah, so down below it is generate sign bundle So if you want to sign your APK and, and upload it to the uh, app store You want to choose this option, but if you just want to one for yourself and just test things out go to build APK Click on build APK and now it's running down here And I'll wait until it's done and I'll show you where the folder is Okay, it's done uh, It's here So basically let's go back out back out. So again your app is this is my app right here. You want to go to the Android folder. You want to go to app. You want to go to build. You want to go to output. You want to go to APKs. You want to go to debug. Apparently debug's where they put it. And this is your app right here. So if you you can run this now. Currently, when you if you just build it right away, um, then you're you're gonna get the you're not gonna get the icons right. So if you want to get icons. Uh, what you have to do, and I'm gonna, I'm, I might as well put in this video here. What you want to do if you want to get icons? I'm, I'm gonna, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this build. I'm gonna delete this here. Tracker. I'm gonna rebuild it again, but I'm gonna show you how to get icons. So, here is the app fold over here on the left hand side. You want to go to um, here res because here's app manifest and all that stuff. Uh, oh, yes, there's another thing you need to do. You want to change the permissions. So here is a permission. So copy and paste all this here. Uh, and you want to go here to, again, you want to go to folders. You want to go to app. You want to go to source. You want to go to main. And here's Android manifest. You want to open that file. However, you want to open it, and underneath here permissions, you want to paste those permissions there here, and that will allow you to access the phone's like file management system and, and right to the right to the phone. So you want to do that? You save it, you exit out, exit out of here. So that's done. Uh, so that will work. Um, then, um, in your React app, if you want to save onto your um, Save onto your um, save onto your phone. First, you have to import all this here from capacitor file systems. I you know I told you to do npm install capacitor file systems, and so you install that, put that in the import it, and how you use it is right down here. You would have to type in file system pen file or write file or whatever you want to do right and the name of your the name of your file name you can call it anything you want the data which you're going to be passing in it could be a string data like you, you know you can call it this is the data you're going to put in that's what you want to save and here this is sort of important you need directories and documents so it'll put it directly to your documents folder and everything else is uh the generic now uh, below here is just like the same thing except as write file over here is a pen file so it's just a function. So you can look up the documentation for that. And um, so when this function is run, it's going to grab whatever data that you want to put in. It could be a string, could be anything, right? And it's going to create a name for it. So whatever name you want. And it's going to basically save that file 
into your documents into your phone. And now let's talk about icons. Uh, again, um, you're gonna you gotta go back here to your um, this is Android Studio. What you want to do is go down to um, Res here, and there's a bunch of folders here. There's drawables, and you want to delete everything here. Uh, background, this launch, you want to delete that, and you want to delete all these folders and mini maps. So you delete all these folders. So go here, Shift. Let's see, you can delete that. That's all gone. Delete anyways. So no more mini maps and drawables. Delete all these XMLs. Leave the spa splash alone because you need that. The only way to change the splash is just to actually change the picture. So I delete that. So drawables are deleted. That's all done. And then on the uh, on this folder here, or you can click anywhere, but just right right click, and then you'll look down for. Oh, you're gonna go up here to new. Up to new. All the way down here to image asset, not vector asset, but image asset. You can open that here. And what you want to do is you want to upload your picture. So down here in source assets, go down to the path. There's only one path here. You just click on this path and you want to find your picture, your icon, your PNG. And I believe it's it's on my folder. So you have to go, I would say go down all the way to the bottom, go to your um where where your Android folder is. So, uh, where did I put it? Desktops. So, my uh, React project. And it's in my public folder. So, my public folder, and I'm going to use the um, icon PNG. That's my icon. Hit OK. Now, this is the... And you sort of can edit it from here, make it bigger or smaller. I haven't done that yet. But, uh, yeah. So, you do that. And so, these are your icons. Um, I suggest you sort of alter them from here. And then over here, uh, you see here, up here it says foreground. You want to go to the background layer. So this is the foreground layer. You want to go to background layer. And then you want, and over here, source asset. You don't want to launch it from an image. You want to do color. And you just want to use white. So click there on color and use white. So FFF, all, all Fs. And I believe, is that about it? Yeah. Okay. So you hit next, next, and you're pretty much done. Next. Finished. So now all your drawables will, uh, all your images will come out as uh, your icon. Now the splash, however, that's a different story. So what you're going to have to do is there's a couple of tools out there. Um, hold on. So this is the website I visited right here. This is what I'm using. You use make apps. Ape tools doesn't seem to be working, but you have to like make your splash images. So go here. Make your splash images, and what you have to do is once you have your images, because they're going to be all in different sizes, you have to go back into your app here. I'm in the, um, let me just make this, this can make this a little bigger. No, I can't make it bigger. So you go back into your Androids folder, click on Androids, uh, click on App, then you want to go to Source, you want to go to Main, and in Main, you want to go to Res. And you see, you see all these here drawables? Like the mini maps, that's already done. But the drawables, you want to replace them. So this drawable, this, this splash here, replace this splash here with your new splash. So this is just a PNG file. So replace this file with your new splash, the, the new picture. And you have to do for, I know to bother, but you have to do for every single one of these. Just replace the picture with your new splash according to the sizes. So there's like, um, sorry, there's different sizes here. And even here. So everything that you see, everything, every uh, capacitor icon you see here, replace that. And when it's all replaced, then you can just run your, um, let me show you here. You can, you can run your, um, go back to Android Studio and then build your app again. And everything should come up with the correct icons and splashes. And uh, I think that's about it.